In this video, we're going to be talking about models. And models is a way of interacting with our database. And by leveraging Laravel's Eloquent model, we can easily create a new file and give that file a class name. And then we can already have interaction between that table. So the first thing we'll want to do is to create our new database. So I'm using SQL Pro and I'm going to add a new database and just call this application. And then inside of my application database, I'm going to create a new table and call this customers. And I ha already have an ID. I'm also going to create a new field, call this name, and make that a character length of 50. And I'm going to just hard code two customers into our database. So the first customer is going to be Tony, and the next one is going to be Bob. So the next step is we will need to open up our application and we will need to go to application and our .env file. And this is where all of our environment variables are stored. And what we will want to change is our DB host, our database, username, and password. So let's go ahead and add our database name, which is application. Our username and password is just going to be root and root. The next step that we want to do is we want to create our customer model by just running PHP Artisan, make model customer. And let's go ahead and start up our server again. And we will go back to our files. And inside of our app folder, we will see this new file called customer.php. And you can see it's a very simple file. It just gives it a namespace of app. Uh, we tell it which model to use, which eloquent model that we want to extend from, and we give it a class name of customer. So already just like that, we can interact with that table in our database. Let me go ahead and show you a quick example. So let's say that we want to get this route just called customer. And let's create a new variable. And inside of that variable, we want to find an app customer, and we want to find with an ID of one. So then let's echo out to the screen. This customer variable. So let's go to our localhost 8000 slash customer. And you'll see that we already have the information from the database table. So we have an ID of one and a name of Tony. So we could then just echo out this customer name if we wanted to. So we could say customer name. And that customer's name is Tony with an ID of one. So let's say that we wanted to add a customer and we wanted to add the ID at the end of the URL. So slash one, and that would give us the customer with an ID of one. So we could easily do that using route parameters. So inside of here, I can say ID and customer slash ID. And then inside, instead of just hard coding this with a one, we will want to add that URL parameter. So if I save that and we go to customer slash one, we are going to get the same result because it's going to find the customer with an ID of one has the name of Tony. Now the customer with an ID of two has the name of Bob because as you can see from the data that we created, the customer with an ID of one is Tony and the customer with an ID of two is Bob. So how cool is that with uh, simply creating a class and calling that customer, we already have the interaction with that database table. So going back here to our route file, let's show you a few more things that Eloquent provides for us, which is we can search specific data inside of the database, say where the name is Tony. So let's say route get and we'll say customer name function and we probably wouldn't want to do this because there's going to be multiple customers with the name of tony but just for showing you how this works we're going to use this example so we'll say customer where we'll say name equals tony and we want to get the first occurrence because there could be a multiple people who have the name of tony but right now we're just going to echo out dollar sign customer and we'll print out that customer's ID. So let's go to localhost 8000 customer underscore name. And sure enough, that customer with the name of Tony has an ID of one. Let's go back here and change this to Bob. 
save that and if we reload then we now get two because Bob has the customer of ID two. So I hope you can see just how powerful the Eloquent model is. It makes it really fun to interact with the data in our database, makes it super easy, and just makes coding more enjoyable.